Okay, so this is a video that every single one of you guys should watch because this is super interesting and this is about the idea of how when you play golf, it's all about rhythm, tempo, or balance. So when we're working on our mind, right, we're going through the mental mastery course and all that kind of stuff, it is essentially trying to get you into a frame of mind so that you have the same rhythm, tempo, and balance, right? So I want to show you these two swings. So this is the same girl, right? And I'm going to draw these lines right up here, right? Just watch this. And what you're going to see is that these swings, right? See how they both start at the exact same time, right? Both swings start at the exact same time. Club heads in like the same exact spot. Up at the top, the club's in the same exact spot. Coming down, the club's in the same exact spot, like regarding like the shallowness of the shaft, right? Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I mean, everything on the visual aspect of this swing is exactly the same. If you took the silhouettes and you overlapped them, they're the same swing. But if you look at this, right, we talked about how the swing starts at the same time, right? But now let's go all the way down into impact. And you can see here that Emma has hit the golf ball and on this one she hasn't, right? So now if we go to the difference in the shot, one ball carried 10 yards. The other ball carried 145 yards. That's a 135 yard difference. But the swings are exactly the same. So what happens is when Emma hits this ball, she goes, oh, there was something wrong with my swing. But when we look at this shot, we can see there wasn't any, there's nothing wrong with her swing. I mean, she just hit this ball 145 yards and she hit it like pretty close to the flag, like it's a nice little stock shot. But the fact of the matter is, is that the difference between these two swings is her timing. And her timing is revolves around her tempo or her rhythm, right? And maybe her balance was a little off. So when you're playing golf, when you're trying to like think of everything everything inside the master plan of like, I gotta do this, hands in, club out, steep shaft, over the cone, under the cone. That's not necessarily going to make you hit it better, right? What's going to make you hit it great on the golf course is great rhythm, tempo, and balance. And what happens is in your block practice, that's you working on your golf swing, that's you forming the clay, so that when you go play, th those worlds eventually will start to overlap, which is why you have to practice. If you're not gonna practice and you're not gonna work on your game, this journey is going to be next to impossible. So you have to work on it. I'm not saying you have to work on it like hours upon hours upon hours, but you know, like once a week for an hour, twice a week and you're probably ahead of the game. So you have to be able to work on it. So now the question becomes, you go, okay, Kyle, I'm doing doing my cone drills or I'm doing my noodle drills and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to go out and play. Well, you want to play and to, to basically have great rhythm, tempo, or balance, you just need to focus on the things that, that are going to allow you to do that. So one really good one to focus on is the level of tension that you have. Now if you think of your body, the one question that I would pose to you if you were sitting on the lesson tee with me is I'd say, hey, where do you store tension in your body? Body when you get anxious, right? Do you store it in your shoulders? Do you store it in your forearms? Do you store it in your hands? Maybe your legs, right? Where is it that your body shuts down or gets tight under pressure, right? So for me, I get ten I get a lot of tension in my shoulders when I play golf. So like it, under high stress situations. So I might have a playing awareness of when I'm over the golf ball, I'll set up my club face, set up my feet, waggle it, reset it, and then I just kind of like let the air out of my tires to kind of soften my shoulders. Let's say you feel like you store it in your hands and arms. Then as you go back and you're setting up, see I can only waggle the club like this if my arms are really, really soft. 
So you simply being like, hey, I'm just going to store a 1 out of 10 grip or arm pressure in my forearms. That could be another awareness or a consistent grip pressure. But just realize that when you go play golf, it's the, it's the tension that changes your tempo and your timing which makes you hit bad shots. It's the tension and timing that makes you hit bad shots. Now we're trying to make a golf swing that's more efficient with plane lines and so on and so forth so that you can essentially have better odds and your swing's not based as much on timing, but every swing is based on timing in some form or fashion. So when you're playing and when you're getting ready to like warm up, that's why you'll see a lot of tour players when they're warming up on the range and they're just, they're just hitting shots like this, right? They're just getting nice and they're just kind of warming up the engine and just hitting nice little soft shots, just trying to get a rhythm and a tempo of the, of the day. So try to work on this, but just realize that when you go play golf, you need to be focusing on your rhythm, your tempo, or your balance.